take a closer look at the situation in Mariupol now with our foreign affairs editor, Philip Turrell. Philip, bring us up to date on the latest there. Well, the latest casualty toll is 2,500 dead. There are 450,000 people in Mariupol. Large numbers of them have been trying to flee, but they're just describing the situation there as hell because they can't get any food, they can't get any heating, they can't get any uh, fuel in, uh, and they can't get out because there's tremendous shelling that is non-stop in the city. They would like to get out, and now they're waiting for this humanitarian convoy, which is stuck at a Russian checkpoint. It can't get in either. And the uh, official reason is because it's difficult to get there by the road, because that convoy can also be victim to shelling attacks. So it's waiting about 80 kilometres outside of Mariupol, and the people desperately need the supplies on board to help them survive. Now, the, the, the information coming out from the Mariupol a district council is that it hopes that this humanitarian convoy will be able to get into the city at some point during the day today. But the problem uh, for Mariupol is that it's right in the front line between Donbass in the east and uh, Crimea uh, to the west. And the Russians have made it clear, pretty clear since 2014, Jeannie, that the, what they really want is for a corridor to be formed, uh, bringing those two regions together. Crimea, which was captured by Russia in 2014, and Donbass, which has two breakaway provinces, and they want to be linked together. And Mariupol is right in the middle of that. And that is why it's such a strategic uh, ground to be taken. Not much uh, respite for the citizens uh, in that city at the moment who have really uh, been going through, as I said before, hell over the last uh, few days. You can see from uh, this map that we have uh, the forces from Crimea, which is an, under Russian control, which are coming forward to the uh, east towards uh, Mariupol, uh, which is also just next to Donbass. And at the same time, they're going west because they're trying to catch o Odessa. And if they take control of all of this part of the Black Sea, then that will cut off supplies coming into uh, Ukraine from outside. So that's very important for the uh, the Russian uh, authorities there to try to to take control of the, the, the sea route so that they can then move further north and uh, concentrate on, on trying to take the capital, Kiev.